The robots are taking over breakfast television. Welcome back, A22. The VEX World Championships coming up in April, and this is exciting times because here in BC we have some astute representation. Uh, Jason Mentor and coach here with us. Rourke and Andy, members of the Robo Kids team based out of Richmond. Uh, Andy, tell us about this, this robot here, and what VEX and the championship is all about. Well, this year's um, challenge is called High Rise. So the objective is to push as many blocks as you can back and then stack the blocks as high as you can on the base blocks. And you guys built th this robot right here? You, you put this together? Yes. Okay, now what goes into, Rourke, you've been at the championships, the world championships before. What goes into building this? How big is the team and how complicated is it to build a robot like this? Uh, one person can't build a whole robot, so it takes a few people. So first, we start with a prototype. Then we test if the idea, the concept works. And then after that, we figure out the problems and how we can improve the robot. And then we go through many stages before coming to a final robot. And how old are you two? Um. Uh, I'm 12. And I'm also 12. Okay, at 12 years old, I was not building robots. Gentlemen, showcase how this is done, moving the blocks. And Jason, you're a coach and yep. mentor. Yeah, you can show, show, show us how it's done. Um, how do you work with these kids to enhance their education? Uh, well, um, from what I see, um, uh, Vax IQ competition um, is, uh, is a rapidly growing event, which um, offers uh, fabulous opportunities for elementary um, and middle school students, mm -hmm. and which um, uh, provides uh, challenges uh, it's open-ended, but it's, uh, it's also straightforward. Yeah. And doing those uh, challenges, students can learn a lot of things they can't get from a school. What is that biggest skill uh, or, or takeaway that they learn that they don't get from school doing something like uh, this? Well, this is, uh, this is uh, the robotics uh, integrates um, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics in one project you can see from here. So they learn a lot of things such as uh, uh, programming, and uh, they also learn how to uh, how to prototyping, and a lot of things they, they will probably can only learn when they're in university. Yeah, and I mean the teamwork is a big aspect of it. As you you two are showcasing this robot now, Andy and Rourke, you've got some other creations over here. Yeah. Tell us about uh, yeah. these ones right here, Andy. Okay, so these ones are um, the new Vex IQ he uh, Vex hex bugs. Mm -hmm. um, children can use, um, can buy them to get into robotics. Okay, now so, sh show us how this works as, you, as yeah. you tell us about it. So these ones, they come in. Um, they're li they're also like this snap pieces. You can program them and you can drive them. Uh, and then we have to make sure the on switch is, is turned <laughs> exactly. on too. Yeah, that always works with the reboot. So oh, then these ones, can you can move them around. There's different ones. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. And work, you know, you've seen some of the robots that were created. How did uh, BC, how did the RoboKids team here in Richmond, BC, match up against the world competition last year? Well, um, last year, it was, well, it was BC's first year. It was the whole competition of VexIQ's first year. Mm -hmm. So... BC wasn't very advanced, but we've been doing robotics for for a pretty long time, so we were ahead of the game, so there wasn't much competition. But once we got to the world competition, everyone was pretty much at our level, so we got our real competition there. And now you've got all kinds of friendships, mentorship with yeah. Jason and Andy. This is going to be your first experience at the World Championships. What do you look yeah. forward to? What do you love about working with the robots and, and working with the like-minded students? Well, working with robots are fun. Um, you you learn about lots of stuff. Yeah. And then, um, if you if you learn about this, when you um, this helps like pave the path for like future careers in like robotics. Mm -hmm engineering leaders of tomorrow right here yeah. scouting it jason you're in exactly. good company well listen yeah. boys congrats thanks for showcasing some of these yeah. and we're going to follow this journey for you it's mid-april for the next vex world championships right uh, yes okay we're going to follow and see how they fare on that thanks so much for coming in you can uh, play with the robots to break here maybe pick up some blocks and keep things tidy for us work thanks yeah. andy thanks so much thank you all right and okay. jason thank you good luck to you yeah. and the team